Hi, good, everybody. good morning everybody, welcome to the channel. Um, here's a test centre on our left hand side, so for Chichester. So we're going to do a Chichester driving test route today. At the end of the road here we're going to turn left, so we're going to go mirror, left or mirror and signal left. So for those of you who uh, have got your test booked in Chichester, this is going to be quite a good route for you today. It's going to take us through um, various segments of uh, Chichester, a few tricky tricky bits, and uh, just get you familiar with the area, really. Um, now the test centre Chichester is quite a way out of the city centre, um, so there is always an element of um, sort of rural country driving. So at the end of the road here, we're going to turn right, uh, sorry, pardon, left. So we're going to go centre mirror, left door mirror, and we're going to signal left. Just coming up, nice and safe. Out we go. Here, this is Tangmere Village. 30 mile an hour speed limit. National speed limit, so we're just going to pick our speed up, checking what's happening behind us. Remember that the examiner wants to see you make good progress, yeah? Um, they don't want to see you being an inconvenience to other drivers. So, on a road like this, um, you know, maybe you don't want to be doing 60, maybe you're not comfortable with that, but you want to be at least demonstrating to the examiner that you've seen that it's an increase in speed limit um, that you kind of get this car up to 45 yeah there was a pedestrian there on the left hand side walking towards us so we're just keeping an eye on him in case he kind of steps out of the road constantly paying attention to our surroundings so that we you know, know what's going on. And then we can see we've got 40 mile an hour speed change so we're just now we're in the mirror, slowing down there. You can hear that pothole that just went over. It's quite a big one, so we miss seeing that. We're going to turn left here, so we're going to go centre mirror, left door mirror, we're going to signal left. Slowing down to the junction. Now we go. Potholes as we go along today. Um, got a railway crossing coming up in a moment. I'm just going to give you some advice. There is a massive pothole the other side of that. So if you're out practicing uh, shortly after we've uploaded this video, um, could well still be there. So just take your time as you go over the crossing here. Um, it's on the other side of it. So. I can just see the crossing in the distance here. I'm just checking my rear view mirror in case I need to stop quickly. The lights are not on, so it's safe for me to go. I'm going to slow right down because I know that there's a big pothole here. Um, I'm just going to, there's nothing on this side of the road, so I'm just going to avoid it.
And this is the thing, when you're out driving um, and practicing for your driving test, you just want to learn the area so that you know, hazards like that that you can be familiar with just before your driving test. Um, so that you know, rather than just you know, sort of plow through it on your on your test, you've got a little bit of advanced knowledge. And you know, driving instructors call it local knowledge. Um, so if you know the local area, it's going to help you immensely. Now at the roundabout here, we're going to take the third exit right. So as we approach the roundabout, we're going to check our centre mirror, our right door mirror, and we're going to signal right. We can see that there's two lanes. As we approach the roundabout, so we're going to be in the right-hand lane, onto the roundabout, past the first exit, coming through the second exit, we're going to check our left door mirror, we're going to signal left, and we're coming off in that left-hand lane. Always coming off in left-hand lanes on roundabouts, unless you know otherwise. Now, I can see behind me a blue light with an ambulance, so, um, we're on a dual carriageway, he's got plenty of room to work around us. Um, but I'm just going to like keep my speed a little bit slower, just because I know that I'm going to be coming up to a roundabout in a minute, and I don't want to in inconvenience him. So I'm giving them an opportunity maybe to pass me. He's not really making a great deal of progress on us, so um, I don't know whether that's them driving slow for a specific reason. He's going to pass me here, so I'm just going to stay still, let the ambulance do his job. And once it's safe, the traffic will start moving again. Okay, once I pass the first exit, I check my left door mirror and signaling left to come off. Carriageway, so national speed limit 70 miles an hour for dual carriageway. So if you're not from Chichester, worth coming in practicing. If you are from Chichester, then you know that you're going to have to do a lot of roundabouts and there's potentially going to be on the A27. Um, Chichester sits, the bypass for Chichester is the A27. Um, so a lot of the test routes revolve around the A27. So get used to it. Let's check our left door mirror, signaling left to come off the roundabout. good route this it has a, a fair amount of um, driving on the A27 taking you from uh, sort of Bognor roundabout all the way through to the um, um, Fishbourne roundabout you can see this is Stockbridge roundabout so we're going to go ahead on this roundabout and you can see that roads splitting up into multiple lanes we need to be in the middle lane to go ahead the left hand there, lane there only goes left. Now as we enter the roundabout making sure that we're in the correct lane. Past the first exit, checking our left door mirror, signaling left to come off.
now this is a Fishbourne roundabout we're going to come up we're going to take the third exit right towards Chichester this is something you should practice and you should know so as you're coming along here you need to be in the right hand lane for this we're going to check our right door mirror we're going to signal right we're going to move over into the right hand lane and then as we approach the roundabout we actually need to be in the middle lane for this to do it nice and easy yeah so we can see the road markings as they say Chichester we're going to check our right left centre mirror right door mirror we're going to signal right to tell people what we're going to take that third exit right now it's very worth checking as you come around here keep checking your right door mirror because it has been known that people will use the furthest lane and they'll go straight down in the A27 yeah, and we're signaling left to come off that roundabout yeah and again it's a great little bit of um, driving test route to familiarize yourself with so we're going into Chichester as you come along here there's a lane from Tesco's that's coming out it just creates its own lane we haven't actually changed lane we're going to take the third exit right on the next roundabout so easier to stay in the right hand lane as you approach this as you come along go mirror, centre mirror, right door mirror, you're going to signal right, come around this roundabout, going to pass the second exit, you're going to check our left door mirror, going to signal left to come off, now we've still got a 40 mile an hour zone here, so just keeping your speed relative to that. It's going to take us somewhat round the, the inner ring road of Chichester. So, as we approach here, this is the Westgate Sports Centre. Yeah, and we're going to take second exit ahead, so left hand lane, checking it's safe. In the left hand lane, as you come round, check your left door mirror, signal left to come off the roundabout. And then we're taking first exit left on this roundabout. So Centre mirror, left door mirror, signal left. Got the road closed here, so we're just going to have a look. Turns out we picked a bad day to record our Chichester test route. Um, seems that there's a a sports activity going on today, so some road closures. But it's always difficult to tell with signs like that because it could be a side road that's closed. And, and they put the signs out nice and early so we'll just carry on driving until we come to a point where if it does affect us we'll just um, kind of work around it so we're going second exit ahead on this roundabout so past the first exit checking our left door mirror we're going to signal left and any more road closure signs that was Westgate roundabout there um, so we're on the what is the inner ring road of Chichester. It goes from like Northgate, Eastgate, Southgate, Westgate. So you can do a big loop around what is the sort of old historic walls of Chichester. We're going to okay. So we're coming up here. We're going to take the third exit right towards Midhurst. Sorry, pardon me, second exit right towards Midhurst. Yeah. So we've got no signal on, so we're not telling people we're coming off here, we're coming round. We come around here, we're taking into the left hand lane. We're going to take the next exit, just checking your centre mirror, left door mirror, signalling left.
here, there's two of them, I found them one. So we've got a bit of room in the middle of the road and we've got a bit of time before we get to the island so we can give them plenty of space. road on the left so we're going to go mirror left door mirror signal left obviously now we're in the side roads they're all 20 miles an hour so we're just taking our time this is a good good little route because they use these roads quite a lot for doing your pull up on the left so we're going to turn left at the end here's the mirror left door mirror we're going to signal left Maybe emergency stop they could do around in some of these roads here. Remember, it's just 20 mile an hour limit, so just take your time. No rush. The examiner's not in a hurry. He knows how long the test route's going to take, so don't rush yourself. You're going to go right at the end of the mirror, right door mirror, you can signal right. Around here, what we're going to do is just pull over on the left here. So we're going to go mirror, left or mirror, and go signal left. Okay, now the examiner is going to pull you over to the left hand side four times on your driving test. Remember, okay, what you're going to do is they're going to say, Can you move off when it's safe to do so? So when it's safe to do so, they want you to check all the way around the car. So you're going to look over your left shoulder, all through your mirrors, you're going to look over your right shoulder, you're going to put your right indicator on, you're going to move off if it's safe to do so. Still 20 miles an hour, lots of daffodils and crocai coming out now, so spring is on the way. We're only on the 4th of February, but um, seems like we might have an early spring. And again, you see they've got a nice straight bit of road, so quite possibly you might do an emergency stop on this type of road. Um, on our driving test route videos, we never show you where they might do um, parallel park or um, pull up on the right or the car parts they might use for, for bay parking. It's just we don't want you to swamp those, um, practicing in them and affecting other people's driving tests. Now we're going to go left here, so mirror, left or mirror, can signal left. So it's not that we don't want to show you, but um, you know, it's not fair on the people who are actually taking their tests that you might be... Uh, just using a favourite spot. At the end of the road we're going to go right, so centre mirror, right door mirror, car park there, it just kind of pushes us out. We're going to get back to that left hand side before we get to the junction. Lots of cyclists out, so... Now, coming out to junction here, this is a real tricky one because it's kind of like a Y junction, yeah? Um, you're coming at it from, a, from an angle. Um, 
and therefore it's quite difficult to see. So you're going to check your mirror, going left, signaling left, and you really got to look over your right hand shoulder, which come up here. It's quite obscured view from a, there's a wall there. And again, just remembering this is all 20 miles an hour zone. Just taking your time. Park car on our side, but I think we're going to get there before they are. Yeah, because well, they're turning anyway. No, I'm just going to come out a little bit wide so I can see what was happening. You know, but this car's coming, so I'm just going to pull up over here and just stop. We've got a great view down the road. You can see yourselves. I'm not getting too close to the car in front because there's no benefit for me. I can see the other car there's pulled over. I'm just going to move down a little bit. Because I can see some gaps, um, and then I'm just going to pull into this bit. There we are. That one's going to pass. And I'm just going to move on again. And I can see a car coming towards me. So I know there's only looked like one space down there. So I'm just going to wait here rather than kind of force the issue. And again, I'm leaving lots of space. So. When I t go to drive off, it's just a little subtle steer rather than having to heavy steer around a parked car. Yeah? You're just making life easy for yourself if you plan out ahead. There's never, you know, unless there's a real tight situation, there's never any point to get close to a parked car. And then we're going to take the next road on the right, so we're going to go mirror, right door mirror, we're going to signal right. Some pedestrians there, so we're just aware of them turning in here and we've got a cyclist in front of us and a whole load of potholes there there's even more here so we'll navigate through those looking at the cyclist I think we can just pass him but remember it's only a 20 mile an hour zone so don't accelerate to get past him we're going to go left at the end of the road so we're going to go mirror left or mirror signal left and the thing you've got to think about is, as I just said, don't accelerate to get past the cyclist because, you know, a cyclist is probably doing somewhere between 15, 20 miles an hour. And if you're in a 20 zone, yeah, to get past him, you may be speeding. So just be, think, think about that. Think about where you are when you've got a cyclist there. Are you going to pass, you know, are you going to break the speed limit to pass him? As we come down to this roundabout, so this is Northgate Gyratory. Um, we're going to take the second exit ahead. Um, the first exit being the car park. So as we come along, we're going to be in the left-hand lane. And as we enter, I'm just going to stay to the left-hand side. Once you get past the car park, you're going to check your left door mirror. You're going to signal left. Around here. It does open up to two lanes, so stay to the left unless you know that you're going towards Bogner. We're going towards Worthing, um, so we need to be in the left hand lane. We're going to check our left door mirror, we're going to signal left, so we're taking first exit left on the roundabout. have been into the city centre today, which is great. So I'm taking the next road on the right, so we're going to go mirror, centre mirror, right door mirror, signal right, approaching car, I'm just going to stop for that one, just to be cautious. If you're not sure, just stop, yeah, because you're stopping for a reason, and, and the examiner will see the reason that you're stopping, yeah. And as we come along here, back into a 20 zone, just watching that speed, being aware of this Iceland van because he's reversing around a corner, um, pedestrians crossing the road there, just taking your time. 
lots can go on in the city centre, yeah? Parked cars, pedestrians, people trying to manoeuvre around. Now at the end of the road we're going to turn left, so we're going to check our left door, centre mirror, left door mirror, we're going to signal left. Very open junction, so I'm just going to take my time. There's some parked cars further up the road, so I'm just going to make sure it's really safe before I move out. Now, I do hope these videos are really helpful. I'm trying to talk through what I'm seeing and doing, um, as well as showing you the, the route itself. Um, if you want to practice a lot more of the test routes, they are available on our website at www.drivingtestroutes.uk. Now the next roundabout we're taking what is a, it's a mini roundabout, we're taking the second exit right on it effectively. So we're going to signal right, just so people know exactly where we're going. It actually looks like it's ahead, but obviously there's only two exits, first exit left, second exit right. Now we're going to take the first exit left on this next roundabout. It's a mini roundabout again, so centre mirror and left door mirror, we're going to signal left. Yeah, um, And there we go, through we go. If you watch some of our other videos, you might be all familiar with this roundabout. This is by Lidl's. So we're going to take second exit ahead. Normally you'd be in the left-hand lane, but for this roundabout you need to be in the right-hand lane to go ahead. So we're just taking up in this right-hand lane. Yeah. Okay. Traffic looks fine. So we're entering the roundabout. As we come round, past the first exit, check our left door mirror, signal left to come off. I know there's a lot of repetition, but that's what driving is. Um, now we're going to go third exit right here, so centre mirror, right door mirror, we're going to signal right. Come round, first exit, second exit, we're going to check our left door mirror, we're going to signal left to come off. Okay. Just checking this guy at the crossing there, press the button. We're taking second exit ahead, A27 towards Worthing. Now, so we want to be in the left hand lane here. Some traffic coming around the roundabout. When it's safe to go, we shall enter the roundabout, staying in the left hand lane, clearly marked A27 East. Past the first exit, checking our left door mirror, signalling left to come off. And there we go. We're back on the dual carriageway, so we're back to a 70 mile an hour speed limit. Um, maybe you don't want to do 70 miles an hour, but you do need to start picking your speed up. I think on this road, you should be doing realistically 50, 55 miles an hour as a kind of minimum. Um, that's just to demonstrate to the examiner that you've got the confidence to drive on, on, on the roads in the UK. Um, if you came on this road and were doing 40 miles an hour, the examiner's going to look at you and think, you're just not ready to drive. Um, because, you know, the traffic is moving fast on this road now, yeah? I mean, we're keeping our pace with this car in front, they're doing 60, we're doing 60. This is just leading us back towards um, Tangmere Roundabout. Here's something interesting coming out. I can see this probably a bit better than you can at this moment, but we've got a tractor in front of us. So that's a slow moving vehicle on a, on a fast moving road. Um, so what we need to do is check our rear view mirror, our right door mirror. We're just going to slow down a little bit. This car next to me is stopping me moving over just yet, so that's gone. 
it's safe to move over now yeah but there's something you should really be wary of so the a27 is an a road you can have slow moving vehicles you can have bicycle bicycles you know horses sometimes yeah um, so lots of hazards on an a road even though it's a fast moving road now we're going to take the third exit right here so we're going to go mirror right door mirror signal right <coughs> Excuse me. Nice and safe for us to enter the roundabout. Coming around, first exit, second exit. We're checking our left door mirror now, signaling left, moving over to the left hand side, coming off of the roundabout there. Okay, great. And then we're right back near the test centre. So we're going to take the next road left into City Fields Way. And that's where York House is, where the test centre is here at the end of your driving test route. Check our centre mirror, left door mirror, and signal left. There's York House right in front of us there. Okay, we're not going into that area because we don't interfere with driving tests on these videos. Um, so that's the end of the video. Hope you've liked it. Hope it's useful. Uh, please do like, subscribe, and share. That'll help the channel on its way. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.